Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality with the 24th episode of the RPG tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be setting up attack trails, which is basically when you attack, there will be a visual effects that will, a particle that will follow your sword during the animation to give it a more, uh, be a better feel of it moving, I guess. And you can change these up depending on what and ones you have, but in this one we're going to create a basic one for ourselves. So without further ado, we'll get into that. First thing we want to do is set up the uh, sockets on our character for the visual effects to trace from. So on your in your UV4 mannequin, we want to open up that up and go to our hand socket and we'll add two sockets um, there we go okay so I'll just name this rail socket one Rail socket two, and we will put one socket up around right here somewhere, maybe a little bit closer. And our first, and our first one will be right at the bottom here. So now that we have our sockets created, we're gonna want to create a material for our. Uh, Attack trail. So we'll go back to our RPG tutorial and we'll go to our materials folder. And in here we'll create a new folder called Attack Trail Materials. Because you may have some you want to use in your own project. You need to store those here for better organization. And we want to right click, create a material. It's going to be M underscore attack trail. And we're going to open this up. And we are going to set this to translucent and unlit and two sided. So that we can see it on, it's not just like a phone wouldn't just show up and we could see it on both sides because one side it would be like this. We can only see it from the top, but if someone looked if we swung up, they don't really see it from one angle, basically. So now that we have that done, we're gonna wanna right click and create a particle color. And we're gonna hold M and click, that'll create a multiply. Plug this into here. Give this some more space. And we're going to hold three and click. And that will give us a, 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 a three vector. And you want to right click and convert to a perimeter. I'm just going to name this color. And particle color to be more precise. I'm just going to plug this in right here. And now we're going to create, set up the opacity. So we need a text coordinate. And we're going to drag out and search for mask. And we're going to get mask component. And we're going to get the, we're going to take, get rid of the R. So it's just mask green G. And then, uh, we're going to create a multiply, click M and click, and we're going to multiply the mask by the particle color here. Trying to make this a little organized. Materials aren't my strong place. This is not this that's why I'm only setting up a basic one. And right now we'll hold one and click, and that will create a scalar perimeter. We'll 
I'll right click that and convert to a perimeter. That will be the opacity. We'll set the opacity's default value to 0 0.2. You can adjust that. Adjusting that will change how um, opaque the image is, basically. You want to hold M and click to get another multiply. And plug that multiply in like that. So you're multiplying it by the opacity palette color and the mask by the way this determines which way which sides they are being it's being blended to basically so that like it's taking a little while to load in basically oh yeah there you go see it now that, that it's fading on this side we want it fading on the top so that's why we selected that so now we can now we have this we can plug this multiply into the opacity and we'll comment this opacity strength so have a little bit commented there we'll create another multiply hold them and click and we'll drag this and multiply by the color and the mask And I'll plug this into a missive color. Like that. And now we have this will set the default value to white. So that you can kind of see it a little better. And this is just the default material. We'll be creating material instances. So if you want to set make another color, for example, you just come out here right click create material instance material attack trail uh, material instance will mi attack trail and then red for example and now we can open this up and we'll have our parameters that we set here our opacity and our color and we can set this to red and if you notice it fades as it gets to the top of Due to the mask we set on it and we can make it more and less opaque but i think that this looks the best when you're actually swinging up and after a little bit of testing you're going to adjust that yourself now that we have our materials set up we're going to want to create a particle so, so we want to create a new folder in our rbg tutorial folder we'll call this particles Or you can also name it effects. A lot of people use effects. Some people use particles. And we're going to create, right click, create a particle system. This is going to be P underscore P for particle attack trail. And this just make basically like I've been putting the that at the beginning of things. So for example, when if you want to search for a specific material that you can write M underscore and all your materials come up, blueprints, BP underscore, all your blueprints will come up. It just makes it easier when you're searching for things. Basically if you want to do it. If some, you wanted to do it that way. And, but now we have a particle. We will first go to right click here. And we are looking for type data and it's an atom trail. So this will make it an atom trail data. We want to go to required and we want to set our material and we can set our material attack trail or we can set our material instance attack trail and, and anyone you can create more, more instances. If you want, you can just right click, you can duplicate this and change the color or create another material instance. Just do what I did here. So for now we'll just use the red one. Um, we want to just the lifetime. And we will change this to a constant float. So it stays the same each attack. And we'll just change this point to so that sometime, you, if you wanted to have the other one uniform, you can, uh, the mi minimum would be 
the minimum value when you were doing attack and the max would be like the maximum value so how uh long it will last for but we want a constant lifetime basically so and uh that'll be it for the particle and now we want to go with last thing we want to go into our animations go into our montages and in our attacks make this a little neater i'm going to make a, a new notification track and you can actually name this instead of one two or three so it's going to be like attack trails but i'm just going to put it three because that's just the way i've been setting them up I and mean, they don't really matter too much the naming of that and we want to add a new state trail and we'll drag this out to like kind of like the length of the trace maybe a little bit longer because we traced it from a slightly different i did basically you just want to trace it for like the length of the pack and and once you set that we created a couple sockets remember the top and the bottom socket so we want to go into our trail and set those socket names here and that is trail socket one and trail socket two and they actually pop up so you can search them up and we'll do them from the center and the visual effects we'll use is the attack trail particle attack trail and we used our red material so it should give us a red swing yeah there it is so now we can see that it's swinging we want to do this to all of our animations so i'm just going to actually open up my first one select this copy save us a little bit of time set having it set it up multiple times add a notify track paste this in here drag it out a bit longer than that boom we have a playing you see this all you need to really do is set your sockets your attack trail and each animation you can set a, a different attack trail so you want your heavy animations to play a different one for example or you have some other ones that you prefer you found and prefer to use there are a few on the marketplace but none free that i could find sadly so that's why i decided to just make my own simple one paste Drag it out. New track. Paste. Sometimes that happens and drag it out. And paste. Drag it out. And we're done. Now when we pick up our weapons, and I'll just just gonna disable the line trace. If you notice that you have the line trace there, you can click, you just go into your character blueprint, your melee trace, and for duration, set the none. And if you notice that that I have my upper body animation set there because from the previous tutorial I was trying to set, I was showing how to walk and attack at the same time. You notice our attacks trace fine. Except for our last one, which I'm guessing we just didn't set the trace on it. Basically, you just gotta make sure you set it on all of your animations. Yeah, there it is. Here we go. There we go. And it will work for all of our weapons. We use these animations. So that'll be it for this tutorial. Um, if you liked it, if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Um,
trying to make get up daily updates i mean yeah daily posts to get a video out at least once a day um don't if you have any comments or questions leave them below or join my discord and I'm, i'll be sure to get back to you on that uh thank you and i'll see you all in the next video